Let me say at the outset that nothing that I say here is to make excuses for Donald Trump's behavior. His behavior since the election is enough to make everybody realize that we are lucky to be getting rid of him. But the mainstream media does deserve its criticism as well. Remember how for months and months they said you shouldn't call COVID the Chinese virus or the Wuhan virus, that that was terribly racist. Here's a reminder. I'm Roger Chang, head of CNET News, and I want to talk about two words, Chinese virus. And I want to talk about why it's both wrong and dangerous to use that label when referring to the coronavirus. Um, because there is a real impact here, and, and those words have a real effect on people. President Trump, in a press conference, defended the tweet. He argued it came from China, so it's accurate. It's not racist. It's not racist at all, no, not at all. It comes from China. And historically speaking, he's not wrong. There are a number of infectious diseases named after uh, their places of origin. There's the Spanish flu, there's the Ebola and Zika viruses, there's the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS. But here's the thing, these are all names used in the past, and we're a lot more aware of the power of our words now. Back in 2015, the World Health Organization set new guidelines for how they would name infectious diseases. Now they did this partly because they started to understand the negative impact it would have on certain populations when you applied the idea of a virus with their location. In the last week alone, the head of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention agreed with uh, a congressman that it was absolutely wrong to use the term Chinese virus. Yeah. Hi, Lisa. This is Sarah. A few days ago, you wrote a message to the president on your Instagram page asking him why he was choosing to call the coronavirus the China virus. Why did you want to call this out, and what do you think his reason for doing this is? Well, I was pretty astounded when he started calling uh, the coronavirus the Chinese virus. I just didn't understand why, of all people and, and, and of all times, he would start to, to call this virus that has a name. It's the, its name is COVID-19. Yeah. He's the only person the world over who started to call it the Chinese virus. Lisa, you know, you've talked about how dangerous this is for the Asian American community, and I completely agree with you. I was so infuriated when the president of the United States started calling it the China virus and the Wuhan virus. These are all names used in the past, and we're a lot more aware of the power of our words now. Okay, we used to name viruses after the place where it came from, but that was in the past. Now we realize it's the wrong thing to do, and we won't do that anymore, according to The View on ABC television. Today, about five hours ago, ABC News released a headline. Take a look. ABC reports first U.S. case of the U.K. COVID-19 variant. That would be the United Kingdom COVID-19 variant. Well, I'm glad we're not naming it after places anymore. That might be racist. Calling the vaccine Chinese is not racist.